Imagine a realm of icy plains and towering mountains. This is the world of Norse myth, a place both beautiful and brutal. In this realm, gods and monsters clash and ancient tales unfold. But among these legends, none are quite as intriguing as the Jotnar, the giants of Norse myth. They are forces of nature, embodiments of chaos, and sometimes surprisingly wise beings. These aren't your friendly neighborhood giants. They are primal, powerful, and often at odds with the gods themselves. Their stories are woven into the very fabric of Norse mythology. From the creation of the cosmos to the apocalyptic battle of Ragnarok, the Jotnar are there. They are the storm giants who hurl lightning bolts, the mountain giants who shake the earth, and the frost giants who rule the frozen wastes. Their stories are not just tales of brute strength, but of cunning, magic, and even love. They challenge the gods, test their limits, and sometimes even share a drink or two with their divine rivals. So join us as we venture into the heart of Norse mythology to uncover the secrets of these fascinating and formidable beings. Before the Nine Realms existed, there was only Ginnungagap, a vast primordial void. From this emptiness, fire and ice met, giving birth to the first being, the giant Ymir. Ymir, a being of immense size and power, became the progenitor of the Jotnar race. From his sweat, more giants emerged, populating the early world. The creation myth doesn't paint a pretty picture of familial love. The gods, descended from Ymir's own blood, eventually slew him. They used his colossal body to fashion the world, his bones becoming mountains and his blood the vast oceans. This act set the stage for the complex and often tumultuous relationship between gods and giants. The Jotnar, born from the essence of chaos, were seen as a threat to the order the gods sought to create. They embodied the untamed forces of nature, earthquakes, storms and the bitter cold of winter. This inherent conflict, ingrained from the very beginning, fueled countless myths and legends. The relationship between the Aesir gods and the Jotnar was rarely peaceful. The gods, dwelling in Asgard, represented order, civilization, and wisdom. The Jotnar, scattered throughout the realms, embodied the wild, unpredictable aspects of the cosmos. This fundamental difference led to an ongoing struggle for dominance. Myths abound with tales of epic clashes between gods and giants. Thor, the god of thunder, is often found battling Jotnar, who threaten Asgard. His mighty hammer, Mjolnir, is the bane of many a giant. Odin, the Allfather, known for his wisdom, also engages in cunning duels with Jotnar, often using trickery to outsmart his massive foes. Yet the relationship wasn't always adversarial. Giants and gods occasionally formed alliances, traded knowledge, and even intermarried. The god Frey's marriage to the giantess Gerd is a testament to this complex dynamic. These unions, however, often came with a price, leading to further complications and fueling the ongoing saga of gods and giants. While many Jotnar are associated with icy landscapes like Jotunheim, their domains are as varied as the myths themselves. From fiery Muspelheim, home to fire giants, to the depths of the ocean where sea giants dwell, Jotnar influence spans the cosmos. Each realm reflects their diverse nature and the powers they wield. In Jotunheim, ruled by the cunning giant King Thrym, the landscape mirrors the Jotnar's strength and resilience. Towering mountains, frozen waterfalls, and icy plains dominate this realm. Utgard Loki, a master of illusions, holds court in Utgard, a fortress known for its deceptive magic. His tricks and challenges often test the wit and strength of those who dare enter. The sea giant Aegir and his wife Ran embody the unpredictable nature of the ocean. Aegir's vast hall under the waves hosts both gods and giants. But Ran, with her net that captures sailors at sea, serves as a reminder of the ocean's darker side. These diverse domains and their rulers illustrate the vastness and complexity of the Jotnar race. Section 5. Tricksters and Shapeshifters, the Many Faces of Jotnar. The Jotnar are far from a monolithic force. They are as diverse in personality and ability as any group of gods. Some are known for their immense strength, others for their cunning, and still others for their mastery of magic. Their shape-shifting abilities add another layer of intrigue to their already fascinating nature. Loki, the trickster god, is perhaps the most famous figure with Jotnar blood. 
His parentage is debated, but his penchant for mischief and his role in both heroic and villainous deeds make him a captivating and complex character. He embodies the Jotnar's capacity for both great cunning and destructive chaos. The giantess Skadi, known for her skill with a bow and her connection to winter, demonstrates the Jotnar's strength and resilience. She demands and receives compensation from the gods for the death of her father, highlighting the respect they sometimes begrudgingly show to powerful Jotnar. These examples showcase the multifaceted nature of the Jotnar. They are not simply monsters to be slain, but complex beings with their own motivations, desires, and even codes of honor. Section 6. Love and War. Giants in the Sagas of Gods and Men. The lives of gods and men are intrinsically entwined with the Jotna, for better or for worse. Love stories, epic battles, and cunning bargains all feature these giants prominently. Their presence adds a layer of complexity and danger to the already dramatic tapestry of Norse mythology. One of the most famous tales involves Thor's journey to Jotunheimer to retrieve his stolen hammer, Mjolnir. Disguised as the goddess Freya, Thor must outwit the giant King Thrym who demands Freya's hand in marriage in exchange for the hammer. This humorous tale showcases Thor's strength as well as the Jotnar's capacity for cunning and greed. The love story of Frey and the giantess Gerd is both beautiful and tragic. Frey, smitten with Gerd's beauty, sends his servant to woo her on his behalf. Gerd initially refuses, but eventually agrees to marry Frey, bringing a temporary peace between the gods and giants. However, Frey's actions have consequences, as he gives up his magical sword, weakening the gods' defenses for the coming of Ragnarok. Section 7 Ragnarok's Roar Giants at the End of Days No discussion of Jotnar is complete without mentioning Ragnarok, the cataclysmic end of the world in Norse mythology. This apocalyptic battle, foretold in ancient prophecies, pits the gods and their allies against the forces of chaos, including the Jotnar, who rise up to challenge the established order. Ragnarok is not just a battle of strength, but a clash of cosmic forces. It represents the cyclical nature of creation and destruction in Norse belief. The giants, embodying the untamed forces of nature, play a crucial role in this final confrontation. Loki, often depicted as a catalyst for chaos, breaks free from his imprisonment and leads an army of giants and monsters against Asgard. Jormungandr, the Midgard serpent, rises from the ocean, poisoning the sky with its venom. The fire giant Zerta sets the world ablaze with his flaming sword. Section 8. Echoes of Giants Jotnar in Popular Culture the influence of Norse mythology and the Jotnar within it extends far beyond ancient texts. These giants continue to capture our imaginations, appearing in various forms in modern literature, film, television and video games. Their enduring appeal speaks to the universal themes they embody. J.R. Tolkien drew inspiration from Norse mythology in his epic fantasy series, The Lord of the Rings. The Ents, ancient tree-like beings, share similarities with the Jotnar in their connection to nature and their role as guardians of the natural world. The character of Smaug the Dragon also echoes the greed and destructive power often associated with certain giants. Marvel's cinematic universe also features Jotnar prominently, particularly in the Thor films. While the films take creative liberties, they capture the essence of these giants as powerful and often antagonistic forces. The characters of Lofi, King of the Frost Giants, and Surtur, the Fire Demon, stay true to their mythological counterparts. Section 9. Why Jotnar Still Captivate Us? Lessons from the Giants The enduring fascination with Jotnar stems from their embodiment of universal themes that resonate across cultures and time periods. They represent the raw power of nature, the struggle between order and chaos, and the consequences of greed and ambition. Their stories offer cautionary tales and moral lessons that continue to hold relevance. The Jotnar's connection to nature reminds us of the forces beyond our control. Their unpredictable nature serves as a warning against disrespecting the natural world. The myths often show the dangers of exploiting nature for personal gain, a particularly relevant message in our age of environmental concern. Their clashes with the gods reflect the internal conflicts within ourselves. The Jotnar's desires for power, revenge and recognition mirror human emotions and motivations. Their stories teach us about the importance of balance, wisdom and understanding in navigating the complexities of life. 
Section 10. A final toast to the giants, their legacy endures. The Jotna of Norse mythology are more than just monsters in the shadows. They are complex figures whose stories continue to fascinate and inspire. They remind us of the power of nature, the inevitability of change, and the importance of facing our own inner giants. So let us raise a glass to the Jotna, the giants of Norse myth. May their stories continue to echo through time, reminding us of the enduring power of myth and the timeless lessons they hold. Their legacy lives on, not just in ancient texts, but in the echoes of their stories that resonate through art, literature and popular culture. The Jotnar, in all their complexity and grandeur, remain an integral part of the enduring legacy of Norse mythology.